UNCP wrestling head coach O.T. Johnson. The Braves host Newberry at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Since the formation of the ECAC prior to the season, Thursday night's matchup is probably one that's been circled by both teams for the last three months. The winner will clinch at least a share of the inaugural ECAC championship. What has the mood been like in practice this week? It's been great. Uh, um, obviously, uh, uh, our last four matches have helped us get to this point um, of excitement, of anticipation for Thursday night. Uh, as Obviously, as you guys know, we had a huge win uh, last Thursday night against uh, uh, Coker College to keep us in the hunt uh, uh, to, to, to hopefully win a share of the conference championship, if not outright champions, uh, um, with, uh, with, with uh, Stuart Nadu coming up big in our dual meet to uh, clinch the match for us with a 19-18 win. Uh, so guys have been doing their jobs. You know, everybody's come in there, worked real well on Monday with their technique, you know, fixing some things from the weekend uh, as far as the tournament and uh, the duels that we had over the week. So everyone has been doing a good job of staying focused and not letting the moment get too big, but still keeping the, uh, you know, keeping the uh, progress going as far as, you know, looking for this match and this match only. And that's been the philosophy all season long. You know, the only thing that matters is the next event. So, yes. Even before the formation of the conference, this series with Newberry has been one of the best in the Southeast. Talk about the rivalry with Newberry and what it means to both sides. It's just good for wrestling in the South, you know, on, on Division Two level to have these two programs, you know, kind of rise above the rest, uh, as you would say. Uh, 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 you know, we went into last Thursday's match, you know, with some questions, and, and our guys just knowing that, hey, uh, no new program is going to come in here and, and put themselves in that category of Newberry and uh, uh, Pembroke. So it was good for our guys to continue to stake claim to that top spot as far as, you know, two of the top dogs. Uh, you know, um, our last three duels against Newberry and Pembroke have, been, have come down to the last match of the duel. Um, they've all been three, three or less point matches that, that, that have really come down to the wire. And, uh, you know, it's a testament to both programs to rise to the top and, and be ready for that match, no matter what each of, each of our records has been leading up to that point. So um, it's, just, it's just good for the kids to know that, you know, that's one match we can circle every year. Obviously not look, not look to it, but just look forward to it um, leading up to the, the matches before that. No matter what happens, our guys have always, always, you know, found it in themselves to uh, get themselves prepared for that. As if you need more emotion tagged to this match, you'll honor two seniors prior to the match on Thursday. What have Stuart Nadu and Brock Walker meant to your program over the last four or five years? Just, just, just what perseverance is about. Um, those guys have persevered through a lot of heartaches, a lot of injuries. You know, sitting, be sitting behind seniors their freshman year, which uh, you know, allow them to register and mature and see what the ropes was like. You know, being behind someone else and not being the guy. Um, you know, they've both been uh, great leaders. You know, not just on the wrestling mat, but they're both uh, returning academic All-Americans that are looking to put that stamp on their careers, one, with this conference title, and two, uh, a punch their tickets to the NCAA tournament. So, one, send those guys out with a conference championship is, is gonna be uh, a phenomenal uh, feat for us as a program. And two, just you know, putting those guys in a position to punch their tickets to the NCAA is gonna just help, obviously, on the recruiting trail to let kids know, hey, you come here with the right mindset, we can get you what you want. Uh, we'll make sure that we leave no stone on turn to make sure that you have your goals accomplished. So those guys have been great to our program and, 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 and you know they can we can go out and tell any kid, hey, you come here, we'll make sure you get everything. First and foremost, that degree, both of those guys are, are great academic students prepared to graduate in May. And uh, also uh, um, they're great they're great program kids. So that's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be emotional but at the same time, you know, those guys are gonna put the emotions aside after the ceremony and get ready to battle. All right, as if that's not enough, here's your one more chance to convince everyone watching this they need to be at Lumbee Guarantee Bank Court on Thursday night at 7 p.m., plus admission is free. What, what, what else? I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. First, I, I try to ask them what to do with my hands, so they told me to put it down, so I had to put it down in front of me, keep it down. But hey, you think you know who O.T. Johnson is? For some of you guys who know who I am, you see me this week, I've been in rare form, as if I'm ever in rare, uh, regular form. But fans come out, support. It's going to be a great environment. Two tough teams battling it out. Duke and I, every single duel, uh, every single match of the duel is going to be exciting. Uh, um, it's going to come down to the wire, I can tell you that. And you don't want to miss it. You don't want to have to watch it on video. You need to be in English, English East June Center on the Lumbee Guarantee Bank Court watching this epic event go down on Thursday night. So go Braves. And if you want to be Brave Tough, come out to the Jones Center on Thursday night and come see what it's all about.